Hello friends, uh, today I am going to discuss about the performance of the phototransistor. Last class I discussed about the uh, what is the structure of the phototransistor and the application of the phototransistor. Okay, the structure I have already explained on the last class. Again I am drawing the structure. This is the substrate. Okay, above this M plus uh, silicon layer is there. This is the gate terminal. Then one uh, silicon dioxide layer is there. This is the insulating layer. Then semiconductor layer is there. Above these two metallic layers is the source and the drain. Okay. The semiconductor layer. This is all uh, also known as the channel layer. Okay. And this is the active layer. When light will incident on the semiconductor, okay, uh, electron voltage will be produced and that will be collected by the drain terminal by applying the gate voltage and the drain voltage. And this is the photo current, okay. In this we will get the photo current from the phototransistor. This photo current that will be the amplify form though because the transistor, phototransistor, the transistor which is acting as a the amplifi amplifier okay and uh, whatever in photo means the the photon photo signal will be optical signal that will be detected by the transistor will get the electrical signal which will be in the form of the amplifier okay so in this way you will get the photo current amplified photo current right so now the performance of the photoreactor that can be divided into two parts one is the uh, uh, generation of the photons and other is the charge transport of the free carriers okay now here i am going to discuss the generation of the photon first okay the semiconductor i told that when the light will be fall on the, uh, on the semiconductor electron hole pair will be produced but there will be one condition okay if eg the optical light okay energy of the optical light that is greater than ec minus eb that time we will get the electron hole pairs further we will get the photo current otherwise we will not get any photo current or electron hole pairs okay uh, greater than or equal to this equals, equation should be satisfied okay uh, now in the maximum cases the semiconductor whatever electron semiconductor you will use okay so all the electron semiconductors have the uh, large gang, band gap that is 3 electron volt okay as we know there is another relationship that is equal to ec by hc lambda to satisfy this condition eg is equal to ec minus eb uh, okay if you put the three electron volt here you will get the lambda that is 400 nanometer equivalent to eb light okay if eb light is incident on the three electron volt uh, semiconductor that time you will get electron volt pairs how electron volt pairs are produced uh, so this is E V and E C. If the E G that is greater than E C minus greater than or equal to E C minus E V, electron will transfer from valence band to conduction band, then electron hole pair uh, will be produced. Okay. So this is the band to band transition. This is known as the band to band transition. Okay. Now what will happen if the higher wavelength light will incident on the same semiconductor? Does electron hole pair uh, produce? Uh, then, uh, so no, so suppose like your lambda is there, uh, 800 nanometer, okay, higher wavelength light, okay, by using this formula, you will get the EG, that is suppose 1.5 electron volt, this, but the band of the semiconductor is the 3 electron volt, so 1.5 is less than the 3 electron volt, okay, then you will not get any electron hole pairs. So, does the same semiconductor, uh, this transistor will be act as a, the phototransistor, it can act. How? Uh, due to the fabrication fault, okay. Uh, due to the fabrication fault, in between conduction band and balance band, so many uh, defect states are there. So, defect states are denoted by the sub bands due to the fabrication fault, okay. So, about the uh, difference between this uh, sub band and the this conduction band is 1.5 electron volt. Now, in this case, if higher wavelength light will incident on the semiconductor, then 
there will be transition between sub band and the conduction band in this time you will get the electron hole pairs right so but in this case you will get the less electron hole pair as compared to the previous case suppose in this case you will get the 60 percent efficiency in the previous case if the same wavelength uh, light will incident then you will get the higher efficiency more, more than 90 percent efficiency okay so this is about the photon transport or photon generation of the photodiodistor okay now i come to the uh, charge transport phenomena okay so the semiconductor that is divided into two parts one is the n channel and another is the p channel if we use the n type semiconductor this will become n channel and in the other case for p type semiconductor this will be acted as a p channel now p in the maximum time we can use the n channel uh, transistor now in, if we use this uh, n channel transistor then based on the bias condition the transistor can be divided into two more parts that is a depletion mode and that is the accumulation mode mode okay what this what is this okay so now first we will tell about the depletion mode okay in case of the depletion mode at the gate terminal this is the gate terminal right at the gate terminal we have to apply the negative voltage in case of the depletion mode okay so what will happen if negative voltage is applied this is the n channel semiconductor right okay so the electrons whatever electrons are there in n channel semiconductor all the electrons are pulled away pulled away uh, at the uh, from the interface of the semiconductor and insulator layer okay all the electrons will be reached at the end of the semiconductor and this entire uh, semiconductor channel the depletion layer will create or depletion region will create what is the depletion region that i told in the last two last class in case of the photo detector that if any immobile ions are there no free carriers are there so this will create the electric field this is the neutral region or depletion region okay because all the electrons are pulled away from the junctions uh, from this junction then this will create a depletion region due to the depletion region electric field will also produce in the entire region okay now related to depletion region photoconductive mode is associated in this depletion region we will not get any device current when any electrons are there then if we apply any voltage at the dream terminal this electron will be collected but in this case that the entire n type semiconductor that is uh, converted into the uh, depletion region okay we will not get any device kind now here the photoconductive mode is dominating factor in case of the depletion region what is this mode now if we apply the uh, optical signal on the semiconductor then what will happen in this uh, entire semiconductor layer electron hole pair will create as no other carriers are there this will electron hole pair will not be recombined with the other electron holes okay so electron hole pair will be created and due to the depletion region electric internal electric field is already there due to the strong electric field electron hole pair will be dissociated into free carriers okay so if we apply the drain uh, voltage and the source voltage electron will be collected by this drain terminal and here we will get the photo current so photo current is the dominating factor in case of the conduction mode photoconductive mode or depletion mode okay now come to the accumulation mode okay accumulation mode in case of the accumulation mode instead of applying the negative voltage at the gate terminal we have to apply the positive voltage at the gate terminal okay uh, positive voltage at the gate terminal then what will happen electron will be accumulated here in the drain region and in the at the interface of the silicon layer and the 
semiconductor layer okay due to the positive voltage at the gate terminal okay so now in this case if we apply any voltage here okay electron will be collected by the drain terminal here we will get the device current okay this is the accumulation mode now in this accumulation mode what will happen if we apply the optical signal then this mode will be converted into the photovoltaic mode okay if we apply the optical signal less number of electron hole pairs will be there because as the other free carriers are there so this electron hole pair after dissociation of the electron hole pair um, this will be recombined with the other carriers and as this is there is no depletion region you will get the less electric field so the maximum electron hole pair will not be dissociated after that after some time it will be recombined okay you will get the less electron hole hole uh, uh, electron holes okay and apart from these holes you will have the device electrons okay you will have the device electrons okay all the electrons will be accumulated at the interface and or at the drain region the holes that will be accumulated at the source region then this will be acting uh, acted as a the potential barrier or battery okay this mode is the photovoltaic mode and here we will get mainly the device current okay because the electron this will be accumulated here and holes will be accumulated here okay the entire channel that is uh, associated with the electrons and holes free electrons and the holes no depletion region is there so this will be acted as a battery and due to the electrons okay flow of the electrons through the entire channel you will get the device current so in case of the photovoltaic or accumulation mode accumulation mode or photo voltaic mode in case of the accumulation mode and photovoltaic mode um, device current is the dominant